Hamilton Island is the largest inhabited island in the Whitsundays, perfectly positioned among some of Australia's most spectacular natural attractions, including the stunning white silica sand of Whitehaven Beach, and of course, the largest coral reef in the world, the Great Barrier Reef. If you are visiting this island, then I highly suggest checking out both Whitehaven and the reef. We chose to book our snorkeling package with Explore Group. In this video, we will show you what it was like and let you know our thoughts on our eight hour snorkeling tour with Explore. Explore Group has a number of options of outings to choose from when you're visiting Hamilton Island in the Whitsunday Islands of Australia. We chose to book their full day snorkeling trip so we could snorkel the Great Barrier Reef. After some amazing snorkeling in Hawaii this year, we did not want to miss this opportunity. The snorkeling tour is eight hours in length, so plan for being gone most of the day. They also have a half day tour if the full day doesn't work for you. At the time of this video, the full day snorkeling tour costs 280 Australian dollars per adult and 140 Australian dollars per child. Before we get into what is included in our tour, I want to mention that all of the Explore tours are subject to minimum numbers and to weather conditions, so it's possible that your tour may be cancelled at the discretion of the operator. I don't think they do this lightly, but we are dealing with Mother Nature and she is fickle. So of course they reserve the right to cancel or rebook you if the weather conditions are not safe. They also may alter the destination again based on the weather conditions. Start and finish times may also need to be changed due to tidal changes and the tide is significant in this area. The company will offer alternative days or refunds in the event of cancellations. And as you can imagine, all of these things applied on the day that we booked to go snorkeling. There were high wind warnings and tidal changes because of the full moon. And yes, this is a thing. This is where our review begins. We arrived at the marina at 7.45 a.m. only to learn that we had to make a decision based on some weather that brought in high winds and large swells out on the reef. Explore was fantastic in what they offered their guests. We were allowed a full refund if we no longer wanted to go. We could be booked on a different day and they outlined which upcoming days would likely have the best weather forecast or they told us that we could continue on with our snorkeling trip, but that they would move the location from the outer reef, which was just too dangerous on that day, to the inner reef areas, specifically Butterfly Bay. We would still have a full day and we would get to see two different snorkeling spots on the reef. I was impressed with how classy the crew was about allowing people to make decisions based on which option with which they were most comfortable. We chose to continue on for the day and it turned out that there were only eight of us left ready to go snorkeling and four to go scuba diving. On a boat that was capable of taking 100 people, they went out and planned for a full day with only 12 of us. Wow! As you board the custom designed dive snorkel vessel, the staff outfits you with a full wetsuit, a shorty, or a stinger suit depending on the conditions for the day. From what I could see, they had sizes that would outfit almost everyone comfortably. The snorkel vessel has two levels, both of which are air conditioned. They have lounge style seating on board and even the upper deck was partially shaded. Good, if you found you had too much sun at the end of the day. There are washrooms on board and showers if you need them. All of the time we were snorkeling, there was a staff member out on a dinghy, as well as two staff members on paddle boards keeping an eye on our group and showing us the best places to see. You do need to know how to swim to participate, but even if you're not a comfortable snorkeler or it's your very first time, they have someone who can give you a hand so you can get the most out of your trip. The group who was scuba diving had a group leader as well for them. You can tell that safety is paramount with Explore. Getting in and out of the water is really comfortable as there is a full swim platform. Our trip was a little over an hour cruise out to Butterfly Bay. There, we snorkeled in two different locations around the bay. The Great Barrier Reef is packed with coral, color, and marine life. The fringing inner reef tends to be slightly more colorful due to the nature of the soft coral that grows around these areas. We found numerous smaller reef dwelling fish such as parrotfish, angelfish, batfish and damselfish. On our originally booked outer reef tour we were told we could expect to see a hard coral platform reef 
with impressive drop-offs, like in Finding Nemo. Because, the, because of the wind, we stuck to the inner reef. We had hoped to see maybe a turtle, a ray, or a white-tipped reef shark. We did see a turtle, but no other sharks or rays on our trip. I'm sure they're more prevalent on the outer reef. The fish from marine life we did see on the inner reef were gorgeous. After our snorkeling spot, we came back on board for a full service of coffee, tea, muffins, cheese and crackers, and then we moved on to our second snorkeling spot. After snorkeling our second spot for about an hour and a half, rather than head back to the marina, the crew planned a surprise excursion for us. We stopped for an hour, or maybe a little longer, to visit Whitehaven Beach. Adding Whitehaven onto our snorkeling trip was such a nice bonus. The crew didn't have to do this, but they did. And it was really an awe-inspiring place to see. Whitehaven Beach is only accessible by boat, seaplane, or helicopter. The beach is known for its crystal white silica sand and turquoise waters. The sand is actually 98% pure silica. Silica does not retain heat, so this beach is comfortable to walk on even on a very hot day. The beach has barbecue and camping facilities, and if we ever get back to Australia, then camping on Whitehaven for a night is on my list. After our visit to Whitehaven, we had a buffet lunch of sandwiches, salads, fruit and cheese on our return trip to the marina. There is a cash bar on board as well if this is something you're interested in, but of course you can't have anything alcoholic to drink until all of your snorkeling or diving is finished. Our review of this tour is a solid 10 out of 10. Explore advertises that they have a passionate team who strive for a more personalized and quality experience and this is exactly what we got from them. The boat was fantastic and very comfortable. The snorkeling was amazing. The food was tasty, healthy, and plentiful, and the crew was a total standout. The crew turned a good trip into a fantastic trip. I highly recommend checking out the Explore Group's tours if you're visiting the Whitsunday Islands. Come to think of it, I'm not sure I have ever given anything a 10 out of 10 on this channel, so this is really saying something. Thank you everyone for watching our videos and a huge thank you to our subscribers. We really appreciate you and the fact that you clicked on the subscribe button helps us to keep making more travel videos. As always, we hope to give you the information we wished we had had before spending our hard earned money so that you can make a better choice about whether it is something or somewhere that works for you and what you're looking for from your holiday. We are back again next week. We have so much coming up on the channel. We have more about Australia and the places we stayed and the things that we saw. We also just completed a visit to Secrets Moshe in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. It is an expensive resort and we will let you know what it is like, how it compares to others in the area and if this one is worth your money. So stay tuned if any of that interests you. Have a great day everyone and we'll see you again soon. Bye!